Alright, um, hi everybody, alright, um, now, today what I'm gonna do is, it's not really such, quite on quite a, um, really a new tutorial, um, but, um, a long time ago, I made a tutorial on how to do an email form, and, um, now I'm going to update the tutorial with, like, kind of, um, better ways, easier ways, and show you how to customize it even more. Alright, um, feel free to still go back and watch that tutorial if you want, but this is going to cover most of the stuff you need to know. Okay, so, um, first we're going to do is just create the form. Now, I'm going to do this all by code. Um, there's going to be no validation or anything. Alright, so what we're going to do is, well, I'm just going to create a HTML, actually, no, cancel. I'm going to say done save. I'm just going to create it here, and I'm going to name it form.php. HTML. Um, now, as I'm writing this, I do want to mention one thing. Is that um, you will have to be working off a server, um, like a host, like, um, I don't know. Um, just like online, you can't be working off a, um, or you have to be using a remote server, I guess is the correct terminology. You can't be working off your local host most of the time, um, because mo lots of email providers such as Gmail, um, Google, lots of them, will mark your email as spam. I know there's one thing to keep in mind. So, yeah, I'm just going to be working off, um, worlds.ws, and just like a, just an extension. Um, I'll name this form. That's all I'm going to put there. Okay, now we're going to create a form. We're going to say action. And we're going to leave that blank for now. Method is going to be post. Um, alright, that's all. Now we're going to make a label. And we're just going to write name. Now input type text now name. Um now this is very important. These you do not want to be capital. Um you don't want them to have spaces, no dashes. You can you only really want underscores and lowercase letters, um or numbers. Try to stay away from numbers, but they're it's okay if you do. So I'm just gonna name this name. Like don't do like name or like first space name. You, it, that won't work. Just name, ID name. Now ID, there's no really. There, you, you should do them the same, but it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna um, close that. And now I'm just going to add a break. All right. Now we're gonna go label email input type. Now I'm just gonna do text name. This time is gonna be email. And, ID is email. Alright. Now we're just going to do one more. Label. Comments. Now this one I do want to break here. And now I'm going to go. Text area. Name. Comments. ID comments. And just go like that. And now we're gonna break. And now we're just gonna go. Oh, oops. Button type. Submit name. Submit. ID submit. And submit. Now, if we preview this, just on my local host, um, it's fine to preview it. You just have this really ugly and small little form. That one, submit, it just doesn't do anything. Alright, now we're going to create a new file here called contact. And we're just going to say form process.php. Um, now, this form.php, this can be any language you want, HTML, whatever, because we're just using HTML code. Alright, now here in this, in this action, we're going to put basically a link to your form process page or whatever you, whatever you named yours. Now mine is just in the same directory. Now you try you want to try and keep them in the same directory directory if you um, you want to try to. 
Um, but you don't have to. Um, but you just want to try to. So it's um, easier sometimes. It gets tricky with these links. All right. Now here we're gonna um, open some PHP package and enter in some PHP code. All right. So we're gonna define some variables first. So first we're gonna say um, web master equals. Um, now we're gonna say email subject. All right, well that's really all. There's we're gonna do two, and for this thing, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna need to use my email. Actually, um, I'm gonna use this email. Um, just so you guys don't see into my email because I don't I. I delete this email, the emails in here a lot. So I'm just going to say contact form. Um, Alright, now we're going to collect and put all the stuff that the user submitted into what are called variables in PHP. A variable really is anything that starts with this dollar sign and has a name like, I don't know, let's say the variable name is person and then person equals, it has equals and it's equal to something, all right? So we're gonna first name this one name, and we have to have a variable for each form field. So name equals, and we're gonna do um, dollar sign underscore post, because remember when we did the form, we put method right here, we did post. So we're gonna do method post. All right, now this is how we get the part of the post data. Um, and what we want to do here is actually, let me give you an example. So if we do print r post, and I can just do this here. Um, you can just write jasonreltuddy at gmail.com, and this is a form. Post, the name Jason, it's in the right email, realtuddy at gmail.com. Comments, this is a form. And submit, it doesn't, we can still use the form, but that doesn't really help us with anything. All right, now, all right, so what we're going to do now is, again, go back and hit name equals post, and this is how we tell it what part of the array. Now, this is the part, one second. All right, now this is the part where we look here. Whatever this for the input, whatever the name is, <coughs> excuse me, whatever the name is, that's what we put here. So it's name. Now we go email equals post email and comments equals, okay, now we're going to go comments equals post comments. I spelled that wrong. Make sure you spell everything right because this is spelling sensitive and case sensitive. All right. Um, now we are going to create the body of the email. So we're just going to go body equals. Now this is a very tricky thing to do in PHP. Uh, you can't have any white space or anything. So now we're going to go body equals. We're going to have three of these... Um, less than symbols, then in all capitals we're going to hit EOD, and with before you hit, you can't hit space or tab or anything, right after the D you just have to hit return, and then you're going to write EOD and apostrophe. And now in here, this is all space sensitive. So, alright, sorry about that, we're just going to start off with a break tag, okay, and now we're going to write name is equal to name. So right, what we can use here is actually I'm going to go like this. Name. This is for variables when you're, you can use the same technique if you're using double quotes. You can use like name. Okay. So um, I'm just going to write name. So that it's basically an display. Name colon space and then whatever this name your variable equals which is if we look up here, this name variable is this post name, which is whatever the user submitted. 
and now we're going to use a regular break and we're just using regular HTML so you can use any type of HTML you want and now we're just going to write oh wait no sorry I didn't put a form field now we're just going to write email email and break um, and now comments and you can um well never mind actually and we're just gonna write comments and break all right um now let's say you're probably thinking to yourself well let's say I have another field called um phone all right well let's create and look at all you have to do is just you just have to have the field in your um form type text name phone let's say and id phone and now these this name these names are very flexible so whatever let's say your name field is called full uh, full name well then you just go phone name and let's say you do want to have a phone so then let's say you have another one so you're just going to hit return and in this section you're going to add a new variable called phone which is represented by dollar dollar score the name of your whatever your variable is called now we're, again we're going to access it with the post and now we're going to access it with whatever the name is which is in here it's called phone okay and now what you have to do to display it in the email is right in here we just say here phone phone and then we break alright now we're gonna actually call the function or not quite alright sorry never mind alright now we're gonna add some headers to send to the email so headers equals from and I'm just gonna say from see we're using these again is gonna be email alright um from is gonna be whatever the user typed in as the email so now we're gonna go backslash r backslash n which means return new line and now we're gonna go headers and dot equals which is basically adding to what we already had and now we're gonna say content dash type oh and wait I forgot you have to put that there okay that might have been a big problem now we're gonna do text slash HTML and then backslash R backslash N again. Okay, right, now we're gonna say we're just gonna have a new variable called send, and this is gonna equal to the PHP mail function. And we're gonna clear that. And now the first one is um, who the email's to. So remember up here, it's, we're gonna send it to webmaster. Now uh, the email subject, which is a variable called email subject, email. Subject and I'm just putting these because that's what we said here. We can name just, just like subject if we want, and then we can put subject down here. Now the body of the email, which again is this variable called body, because that's what we assign the name of it. And then now headers, because we have headers right here, right? And we need to send those. All right. Um. And now I'm just gonna say echo. Send. And also, you could do um, if you wanted to have it just have it redirect the user to a new page. You just use the header function. You go location apostrophe, and let's say you wanted to do like Google.com, and then you could do that. But you have to put that um, before you have this echo sent; otherwise, it won't work. I'm just gonna say echo sent for the sake of it. All right. Now we're going to upload these two files to my server. Okay. Um, now we're going to go php basics and form. And this form page. Alright, now you guys probably recognize this form. Uh, oops, I forgot to break down. Well, whatever. Alright, now we're going to write jason realtidy at gmail.com. Now, I'm just going to write, this is my phone, and this is a form. Now, I'm going to hit submit. 
it says sent. Alright, now I'm going to pause the video and just log into my Gmail account. Alright, so now I'm in Gmail, and as you can see, we have this new email, and if I click on it, it just says realtuddy at gmail.com via um, my web hero host, and now it says name, Jason, email, realtuddy at gmail.com, phone, this is my phone, um, uh, oops, discard, and it says comments, okay, now we see comments, now let's look back at our code, and there's, ah, I spelled it wrong. Alright, now let's try that again. See, like I said, you have to be very careful with your spelling. Alright, now I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to delete this one. And now, I'm just going to go to form, and this, uh, I'm just checking. Jason, Ralph, at gmail.com. Um, phone, we're going to write, this is a phone, and this is a comments. Submit. Again, we get sent. And now if we check this, now we get the comments. Um, okay, uh, now, that's basically it. Um, I know this is kind of a tricky subject, and this is a really popular video on YouTube. I think this was the most popular video I have. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, I'm go coming with lots of more tutorials. I'm going to try and start doing about once a week um, new tutorials. So watch out for them. I'm going to be doing some PHP basics with MySQL um, stuff. So again, look out for those. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to give the video a like. Any comments, questions, either down below you can ask me any questions on Twitter. My username is at Real Tutorials. Um, you can email me at um, realtuddy at gmail.com. I'll have all the links below in the description. And um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Alright, thanks.